How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. We finally have some news on the second expansion. We have some news on the hacked leaderboards, some more leaked cars to add to the leaked car list, and a few other things I'm all going to go over in today's video, another weekly sort of update video. If you do enjoy the weekly update videos, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss one. Let's get into it. So as I said, there's various things to touch on today. We're gonna to start off with the latest leaked car, which we can now add to the leaked car list. If you have a look at this upcoming month's festival playlist, we will see that in the third week, there is a car in one of the images that isn't in the game. And that is this car right here, the 1952 Hudson Hornet. This car, I believe, is in Horizon 4, but it's one of the cars missing from Horizon 5. So we can go to our leaked car list, add it to the list. We'll mark it in blue because it is found as a screenshot. Will we ever get the Hudson Hornet? Maybe not. Maybe we will, but what we do know is it's in the game, it's at least still in the files because it's been spotted in the festival playlist. Now, what else do we have to talk about? Well, in the previous Forza Monthly live stream that happened last week, there was a couple of things that Torben himself spoke on, which I'd like to show you all. One of which was a bit of information about the leaderboards. Now, we know the leaderboards in Horizon 5 are full of hackers and cheats and just glitched times. Well, Torben had something to say about that. You also had an update on the leaderboards that you wanted to share because the team's been doing a little bit of a clean-up since the last time we spoke, isn't that right? Absolutely. We're continuing our work to ensure that leaderboards reflect the skills of the best players in our community and I really just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk to the process and how we're handling it and how we're thinking about it. So this is, as you might imagine, an ongoing thing where we use a range of methods and different tools, but the aim for us is to remove times from leaderboards that are not legitimately set times. For example, we're currently in the process of targeting very old rivals times uh, that were set essentially between the launch of uh, Horizon and the beginning of December 2021. These were caused by an issue that we identified and removed from the game, but while that issue was present, some players found ways to set non-legitimate times, and we're clearing those out. You can expect to see these disappearing and for further actions like that to be taken over the coming weeks. Our intention is to keep as many legitimate times on the leaderboards as we can, but dealing with the bulk of this, there may be instances where legitimate scores are deleted in the process, and we're really sorry about that. We appreciate your patience with this, and please know that we continue to prioritise this issue. So that's very good to hear. Now, it's very interesting to see that they are targeting specific groups of times. For example, specific times on leaderboards that have been obtained using specific glitches. They have narrowed down these glitches and they are targeting these specific glitches. Now, it is unfortunate to hear that legitimate times may be removed from the leaderboards as well. I can imagine from their point of view, it's very hard to tell between them, but it's a very big game. I'm sure they have lots of stuff behind the scenes to help them figure out what's what. But it's good to see they're cracking down on it. And it seems like as the months come by, the leaderboards will gradually be getting more and more legitimate um, and not just all full of cheats. So that's a good update to have. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. In the same live stream, Torben also told us a bit of information about the second expansion as well. Just a little hint of it. This is what was said. Ah, absolutely. So excited to share that alongside all of the series updates and the game fixes that we're continuously working on, as you know, we're also hard at work building the second expansion for Forza Horizon 5, and you can expect to see it in early 2023. We will have more to share after we enter the new year. That is also very good to hear as well. Now, what they exactly mean by early next year, I don't know. It could be the first three months. It could be the first two months. I'm not exactly sure. Now, I'm going to make a prediction and say that I think the second expansion may come out in February, which if I recall correctly, February is Season 17 or Series 17. Now, Series 17 over the past couple of months has been heavily hinted towards being a very large update or one that's highlighted at least. So I, February 2023 is definitely early 2023. So I bet we're going to see that second expansion in February or March, you know, between that crossover sometime. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. There'll probably be another video on the channel at some point discussing exactly what we think expansion two is going to be. Along with the sort of hints about the second expansion, we also had Kelly tell us a bit about the next update as well, more so about Christmas. This time around? Yes. So uh, 
December's coming up and holidays are my favourite time of the year. Mm -hmm. So of course we're going to celebrate the Horizon holidays and we're getting Evolving World back. So if anyone wants to check out the ice rink or complete any accolades you missed last year, just pop on into the stadium and check them out. Perfect. Looking forward to it. I know I missed a bunch and with my birthday is technically in December. Now, in terms of all of the teasers, this doesn't seem like the most exciting teaser in the world. We can obviously see the splash screen now says Horizon Holidays. That's all about December. We could pretty much guess that December was going to be a Christmas update anyway. Now, what kind of bums me out a little bit is they said that obviously the ice rink is coming back and we're going to be able to go back and complete the accolades that we didn't complete beforehand which isn't a bad thing but that tells me that they're not really adding much new in this update um, or at least in December sorry they're not adding much new in the stadium to allow people that you know didn't do it last year to do it this year so that makes me wonder if rolling on to next year we're going to get repeated updates repeated seasons so now what else I want to touch a little bit on one of the features that came out in series 14 the one that's just been released it is the, the PC updates in terms of ray tracing and all the new graphic options because we finally have a lot more information on that, exactly what's coming, how it works, who can use it. Um, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna read it all out, but on screen we can see um, the, the pure information about the improvements that they have brought out. Now, obviously this is PC only. Now they brought out a sort of Q and A for any questions that people may have about all of these new graphical options on PC they have replied with answers. So we can see a few of the questions on screen right now, just going into detail about some of the information that people are probably curious about. Again, if you're very interested in some of it, just pause and have a read. Now, obviously the main question people are wondering is what PC hardware do you need now to run Forza at max settings or extreme settings? Because obviously now they've added all these things, it's gonna require a bit more PC power so the specs are gonna change a bit. Well, they've kindly provided it with this graphic explaining exactly what is needed to run the game. Now, I don't think these are the specs recommended to run the game at normal settings. I think this is the recommended specs for extreme settings. So if you're into your PC stuff, you'll know what's on the screen anyway. These are the specs related to running extreme settings on Horizon 5. Now they've added all these things. There were plenty more questions asked, you know, what is this, what's this, how do you do it, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to leave them on screen. Just a few more questions about the new graphical update. As I said in my previous video, I might actually play a lot more on PC now because my PC seems to be up to the specs needed. So I'm going to see what it's all about and see what the extreme settings look like. So that's a bit more information on the Series 14 PC graphical settings thing. And as for everything, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next video.